Tale of Dungeons Ghost Horror! Hello, honeys! I've collected all 26 Lily Gothic cores featured in the Aikatsu anime, and I put them all together for you. Enjoy! Twenty-six Violet Hatter. Violet Hatter is a crop jacket and short set with ankle boots and asymmetrical socks. This outfit is part of the Alice's Adventures in Wonderland collection. I've placed it at the bottom of the list because it combines two of my least favorite elements: pumpkin shorts and patchwork patterns. The monochromatic color palette does help to keep this outfit unified, but it lacks the structure and elegance that I associate with Lily Gothic. Twenty-five Striped Gothic. Striped Gothic is a two-piece suit with platform shoes. The pinstripe suit concept is interesting to me, but I think the accents used make it feel awkward instead of cool. The pleated skirt section hanging from the belt feels particularly out of place, and the chains draped from the roses seem too isolated. I'd also like to see the waistline of the pants raised to eliminate the unnecessary gap between the pants and the bottom of the corset. 24. Garnet Capricorn Garnet Capricorn is a dress with thigh length boots that is part of the Capricorn collection. Although I like the cut of this dress and its accessories, the clashing colors are distracting. It feels like there are two competing concepts, the diamond pattern red and black concept, and the bright orange bat wing concept. Using more black in the orange pieces would have helped unify the two. 23. British Blue British Blue is a blouse and skirt set with thigh length boots that only briefly appears in the show. Unfortunately, the skirt was changed from a cupcake shape to an A-line shape, which ruins the overall silhouette. Without a full skirt, the sharp points of the hemline become confusing to look at. Overall, this is a cohesive outfit, but a lot of the visual rhythm has been lost due to the changes made in this frame. 22. Pink Spider Pink Spider is a blouse and short set with high heels and stockings. This design was changed even more significantly for animation, with the shorts originally being a longer skirt. I think it was simplified well, but the purple choker is the one piece that feels out of place to me. It does match Jewelry's eyes well, but it has little relevance to the rest of the outfit. 21. Handsome Stripe Handsome Stripe is a jacket and short set with thigh length boots and is part of the Capricorn collection. This is one of the few uses of pumpkin shorts that I think works well, mostly because it expands on the boyish concept. The blazer's fitted construction contrasts nicely with the rounded shape of the shorts, and the tall boots help complete the visual lines created by the pinstripe pattern. 20. Dramatic Green Dramatic Green is a dress and ankle boot set with tights. This outfit has a pleasing analogous color scheme with subtle accessories which make it a relatively simple design. The feminine silhouette is cute, and I appreciate details like the lace pattern on the tights and the gems embedded in the belt. 19. British British shares its design with British Blue and is a better representation of its intended silhouette. Here, the fuller skirt shows off the zigzag hemline. We see a few variations of this outfit in the show, so I am ranking the pieces that show the most detail. I think the patterned skirt adds necessary visual interest, which is balanced by the simpler vest and blouse. 18. Block Check Block Check is a vest and skirt set with knee-length boots. I like that the checkerboard pattern is used as an accent rather than the main texture of this outfit. The solid black sections with gold trim help direct the eye through the dynamic lines of the vest and skirt. The white ruffled blouse adds femininity, while the embellishments emphasize the gothic theme. 17. Striped Trench Striped Trench is a dress that shares its boots with Block Check. Although the lace-up lowly boots are mentioned by name, the design is clearly different in the show. In this version, the boots are shorter, wrapped with studded bands, and have black and purple striped socks. This discrepancy aside, I think the outfit still works well. The black and white pinstripe pattern has a classic elegance, while the teal vest and bow stand out just enough to add more visual interest. 16. Holy Goat or Holy Goth Holy Goat or Holy Goth is a blouse and skirt set with knee-length boots and tights. I believe the name is meant to be a pun, as goat and goth are spelled the same in katakana. This is one of the cuter lowly gothic outfits, being primarily pink and borrowing some details from princess-style ball gowns. However, it retains its gothic elements through darker accent colors and a prominent cross symbol on the tie. 15. Vampire Vampire is a two-piece set with ankle boots and thigh-length socks and is part of the Nightmare Halloween collection. I was torn on where to rank this outfit as it isn't shown very well in the show, but overall I like the parts that we can see. A colorful and fun design suits the Halloween concept well, and I like how creative the bell sleeves and flare boots are. 14. Vampire Blood Vampire Blood is a crop jacket and skirt set with ankle boots and tights that also belongs to the Nightmare Halloween collection. The jewel tones of this outfit stand out very well and suit the rose and thorn pattern used in the top and the skirt. Only the orange cuffs on the sleeves strike me as slightly out of place, but they're easy to overlook. 13. Blue Rose Noble Blue Rose Noble is a jacket and skirt set with knee-high boots. 
The blue, red, and gold color palette works really well with the military inspiration of this outfit. However, it sneaks in a lavender blouse and pleated skirt layer that totally contradict that theming. Because the lavender accents match Sumire's hair color, they become a unifying element. On any other character, the colors would clash a lot more. 12. Black Romance Black Romance is a two-piece set with knee-high boots that has a relatively sleek silhouette. The main highlight for me is the top, which has adorable ruffle straps and a sailor-style embellishment at the neckline. The large bow on the choker makes the design seem a lot more youthful. The patterns on this dress have been entirely removed in most shots, but a simplified version is shown once in a still frame. 11. Growth Dorothy Growth Dorothy is a blouse and skirt premium wear set with pumps and tights. It is part of the Wizard of Oz collection, and I have it placed this low because the skirt is way too busy for my taste. Between the ruffles at the hemline of the top and the three tiers of the skirt, the bottom section of the dress is broken up into nine visual segments. I think this is a very creative take on the Dorothy theme, but the visual rhythm is too disjointed for me to rank it any higher. 10. Aqua Patissier Aqua Patissier is a two-piece set with heels and tights. I'm definitely biased by the fact that teal is one of my favorite colors, but I appreciate the limited palette of this design and the variety in solid and pattern pieces. The Baker theme gives the top a unique panel structure, but jewels and gold accents retain the sophisticated aesthetic of the brand. 9. Flute Mystery Flute Mystery is a blouse and skirt set with pumps and tights. It belongs to the Town Musicians of Bremen collection, and the novelty of the theme helps boost its rank for me. I like the musical note pattern used as trim, although I admit that the cats on the skirt feel a bit random. The gold buttons help carry the colors of the musical notes through the rest of the outfit, and it looks very cohesive as a result. 8. Sapphire Chandelier Sapphire Chandelier is a camisole and skirt set with ankle boots and is part of the jewelry collection. This is a beautifully balanced design, with each color and texture being carried through the design well. However, I'm not convinced that the sparkly gradients match the gothic theme of the brand. I wish they had found a different interpretation for the sapphire concept, like a more graphic print or solid gemstone embellishments. 7. Odile Swan Odile Swan is a two-piece set with pumps and stockings. It is part of the Swan Lake collection, with Odile being the name of the black swan antagonist. I appreciate a lot of the details of this design, especially the iridescent feathers and the cross and stud embellishments. The dark jewel tones and corset lacing also help to retain the gothic theme. 6. Black Santa Black Santa is a two-piece set with knee-length boots and stockings that belongs to the Party Deco collection. I have a soft spot for winter outfits with fur trim, and especially love furry bobble details, so I'm very biased in this ranking. That said, I like how the red jewels, chains, and corset lacing bring some edge back to this outfit. The leg warmer shape of the boots is very unique, and the sheer stockings look great with them. 5. Magic Midnight Magic Midnight is a blouse and skirt set with knee-length boots and is part of the Cinderella collection. The Cinderella theme is very vague, mostly referencing a night scene, a castle, and a witch. However, as a witch outfit, I think it works very well. The tiny hat and pointed boots create interesting shapes, and the lace textured top is nicely balanced against the smoother skirt. All of the details work well together, and I love the gold bat and star accents. 4. Blue Empress Blue Empress is a jacket and skirt set with calf-length boots and tights. This design uses a lot of sharp lines, batwing shoes, batwing sleeve cuffs, a torn hemline, and zippers across the back of the skirt. Studded bands and metal charms add more complexity, and ruffles are kept subtle. As a result, the regal concept is achieved through a more aggressive image. Although many of the dresses so far have been aesthetically similar to this one, I think this one stands out for its grungier elements. 3. Goth Magic Goth Magic is a crop jacket and skirt set with heels and tights. To me, this is an enhanced version of Blue Empress. The batwing motif is a lot more explicit here, and the silhouette is a lot more dramatic. This design has so much impact because of how graphic and exaggerated each element is, with each one containing subtle details that don't distract from the strong shapes of the pieces. 2. Nightmare Capricorn Nightmare Capricorn is a blouse and skirt set with ankle boots and tights. It adds to the dramatic impact of goth magic with the blue and orange color contrast, large bell details, and prominent feathered wings. It is one of the most popular premium wear dresses because of how bold the elements are. The large scale of the embellishments and patterns make it recognizable from afar or a small scale, making it extremely memorable. 1. Snow Princess Snow Princess is a two-piece set with knee-length boots from the Snow White collection. This is my favorite lowly gothic design because of how intricate each piece is. The embroidery, brocade prints, cord trims, and tiny jewel embellishments are extremely well designed. There is clear color blocking that highlights each graphic element, and the overall impact is gorgeous. The Snow White theme is perfectly portrayed by the iconic apple motif, and the puff sleeves and regal color scheme complete the princess reference. Let me know your favorite Lily Gothic chords in the comments below, and look out for my featuring girl ranking next week. Bye bye!
目標ギャラクシースターライトだぜイエーイ